There are some things that have been found that are unsettling, and some of those unsettling things that have been found were found in Africa at about 30.3 million kilometers squared, or 11.7 million square miles. Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent, given the sheer size of the place. It's no wonder there have been all sorts of strange things found buried within its borders. These are unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 10. Sky Blue Stone Just when you thought geologists had discovered all the different types of stones and rocks the world had to offer, Sierra Leone in West Africa had to go and pull one out of the hat. In 1990, a geologist and archaeologist by the name of Angelo Pitoni discovered a mysterious blue stone in soil dating back to 12,000 BC. He sent pieces of it to laboratories in Germany, Rome, Utrecht, Geneva, and Tokyo. And no one could provide an answer to what the aptly named sky blue stone was. What they could agree on, however, was that it was unlike anything they had ever seen and that it wasn't remotely similar to any rock. Surely, it had to be artificial. What they did manage to find was that it consisted of oxygen, sodium, calcium, carbon, and silicone, which gives it a similar makeup to human-made products, such as stucco or concrete. The blue color, too, appeared to be artificial. When locals were approached about the find, they didn't appear phased. They had come across it while digging in the area before. This mystery stone seems to only come from soil layers that date back to around 12,000 BC, which means it could be a product from an ancient civilization that has yet to be discovered. Could there be more blue stones and interesting artifacts lurking below the soil surface? Now it's time for the odd topic. Take a look at this fresh slice of what the heckness. This peculiar photo surfaced online a while back and has been baffling people ever since. It seems to show some kind of crashed military vessel and pouring out from the rapture are hundreds of what might be bombs. The photo is frustratingly blurry, so it's hard to be sure, but regardless, it is unsettling. Apparently, nobody in the area saw or even heard it fall. It just mysteriously appeared one morning. What do you think it is? As always, comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 9. Ruins of Gadai Can you imagine the town you're in now one day disappearing, never to be seen again? It can be a strange concept, which is what makes the ruins of Gadai along the Indian Ocean coast of eastern Kenya so enthralling. This historical site is one of many coastal settlements that exist from Mogadishu in Somalia, all the way through to Mozambique's Zambezi River. When the ruins of Gadai were discovered in 1920 by colonialists, they quickly became a hotbed for geologists, archaeologists, and historians. The ruins consist of a walled town, single-story stone houses, mosques, and even a palace. Open areas surrounding the ruins also had thatch and earth houses and stone pillar tombs, which were separate to the main ruins area. The mystery with the ruins of Gadai is that there isn't a lot of documentation on its existence. It wasn't associated with trade in the Indian Ocean, but the discovery of beads, coins, and pottery means it might have been more of a critical trade settlement than first thought. For some unknown reason, the settlement appears to have been abandoned around the 17th century. No one knows who lived there or even where they went next. Number 8. Quartzite In early 2019, researchers discovered a particular type of rock on a small island by Africa's eastern coast and Madagascar. While any new rock discovery is exciting, this one is even more so. It simply shouldn't be where it is. Columbia University researchers, who were able to carry out the research courtesy of a National Geographic Society grant, discovered quartzite on the island when it's traditionally only found in places with high pressures and temperatures. The find is antithetical to plate tectonics, and quartzite is not found traditionally on volcanic islands. In this instance, however, the researchers found that it made up half of a mountain on Anjuan Island, it's pretty amazing to think that a rock that shouldn't even be where it was could form such a significant part of an island. Columbia University geochemist Cornelia Klass said the presence of the rock was interesting, but it bothered her that she didn't know how it got there. But now that they have found quartzite where it shouldn't be, they are dedicated to finding out why. Number 7. New Ancient Species The Cradle of Humankind a paleoanthropological site spanning 180 square miles near Johannesburg, South Africa, has long been a honeypot for researchers. It was declared a World Heritage Site in 1999 and contains a series of limestone caves known as Sturkfontein. These caves alone claim the title of containing around a third of all discovered hominid fossils before 2010. However, the cradle of humankind is now known for something else, a new ancient human species discovery. 
Homo naledi, a previously unknown human species, was found in a particularly complex set of caves within the site in 2017. The bones of 15 hominids were unearthed, but have not yet been dated. They appear to have slender bodies and stand at about 1.5 meters tall. Oddly enough, they have a few distinctive features, but many are quite similar to modern-day humans. Number 6. The Stone Circles of Senegambia The Senegambian stone circles are thought to be the largest concentration of stone circles like it anywhere in the world. But there is still much that researchers don't know about them. They span 200 miles of the River Gambia and have a radius of 62 miles. There are thought to be at least 1,000 stone circles and related items spread out over the area. Researchers don't know when they were built, only estimating them to be between 400 and 2,300 years old. Alongside the stone circles, the area is also littered with stonework, graves, pieces of metal, and pottery. The stone circles are separated into four main areas, with around 29,000 stones, 2,000 smaller sites, and 17,000 monuments dotted around them. The monuments feature blocks and pillars, while the stones stand apart by themselves or in rows. While researchers don't know everything about the stone circles of Senegambia, they do know that they are a sign of civilized society. To complete these structures, they would have required labor, tools, and even quarries. Some of the pillars also weighed up to seven tons, which shows that whoever created these sites were dedicated to the job at hand. Number five, old tools in Kenya. Have you ever experienced the frustration of taking a wrong turn while driving, only to end up where you don't want to be? This same mistake ended up being a game changer for a team of researchers. Stony Brook University's archeologist Sonia Harmon and her team had been on their way to a fossil site near Lake Turkana in Kenya when they took a wrong turn. Instead of arriving near the discovery site of the 3.2 to 3.5 million year old fossil, Kenyanthropus platyatops, they found themselves in an unexplored region. Given that it was untouched, they decided to survey it and discovered stone artifacts which they called Lomekwi III. Around a year later, they prepared for a full excavation of the site. They found at least 20 artifacts, such as flakes, cores, and anvils, and 130 more on the surface. The large tools appeared to have been made, then discarded on site, but no human remains were found nearby, or animal remains with weapon-like marks on them. No one knows what the purpose of those tools was, but they are thought to be 3.3 million years old, predating the earliest tools ever discovered by 700,000 years. Number 4. Exotic Pets We've all dreamed of having a pet elephant or hippo. But for the wealthy residents of Hierakompolis over 5,000 years ago, that was their reality. Long before the pyramids were built, the residents of this affluent township showed off their class and wealth by keeping exotic pets. The remains of hippos, elephants, baboons, and other animals were excavated from a cemetery in the area. While you might think they were just some random wild animals that ended up in a cemetery, the evidence proves otherwise. Some of the animals showed healed bone fractures, which means they may have been hurt while being brought into captivity. Only captivity, however, would have allowed those fractures to heal. Number three, Great Pyramid of Giza. Have you ever got bored building a snow igloo, gave up, and went inside? Then you've got to hand it to these guys and gals who created the Great Pyramid of Giza. This 481-foot structure is one of the largest pyramids in the world, and also claims the title as not only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but one of the oldest. Many Egyptologists think the pyramid was built over a 10-20 to 20 year period as a tomb. With construction finishing around 2560 BC, it featured limestone casting stones on the outer surface, which is not what you see today, and has three chambers on the inside. No one knows for sure how they built the Great Pyramid of Giza, but most people believe that those who worked on the construction would move stones from a quarry, drag them to the pyramid, and lift them into place. If you thought your gym workout weights were heavy, then spare a thought for those who had to lift pyramid rocks. Number 2. Namib Desert Fairy Circles It's like a desert version of crop circles, but on a much larger scale. The Namib Desert in southern Africa is home to some somewhat strange fairy circles that have baffled scientists for years. Between luscious grasses that span for 1,100 miles is a series of barren rings that are between 2 and 15 meters in diameter. Why is it that these circles exist? Why does grass grow all around them, but not in the rings? Scientists are starting to realize that there are two possible theories. Plants could be fighting for survival, and that smaller plants can't get the water they need. As the plant life thins out, it dies away at the edges of a patch of grass, creating gaps at regular intervals. But while the grasses are competing for water, there's another battle going on underneath, and it's between the termite colonies. The researchers believe that when termites burrow underground, create tunnels, and look for food, they destroy vegetation on the surface. They also fight for territory, which results in one colony taking out another and producing gaps in the ground without termite colonies, almost like a no man's land for termites. Either one of these theories could be correct, or they both could be. One thing's for sure, 
These fairy circles do look spectacular from a distance. Number 1. Bakoni Ruins If there has to be any archaeological site that has bewildered scientists for decades, it would have to be the Bakoni Ruins in Mpumalanga, Africa. Thought to exist for over 200,000 years, the supposed lost city of Africa in Machadadarp has many a traveler and researcher scratching their heads. From the air, the ruins appear to be all connected, with passages and mazes over hundreds of miles. From the ground, it gets even more interesting. There are stone terraces, fields, roads, and settlements, as well as evidence that ancient Bakoni people were in the area far earlier than first thought. The Bakoni ruins are indeed a puzzle, especially when it comes to identifying one of the more standout features of the site. Adam's Calendar The structure is a 30-meter circle with monolith rocks in it. Each of the monoliths matches a star formation of Orion's belt, which means it may have been a way in which to chart time. Isn't it crazy to think that in Africa alone, there are dozens of discoveries that researchers can't explain? What unsettled you the most? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time!